Howdy. In this video I will describe what you need to do to pick the right filter, fuel filter, for your high performance motor. I can't tell you how many times you go to car shows, I see this all the time. You see like 700, 800 horsepower monster motors, and you see these fuel pumps that, that, that push out tons of gallons per hour of uh, fuel, and the fuel filters are crappy fuel filters that can't push over 90 gallons per hour. So that's a major restriction, a big no-no, and you lose a lot of power. So match your fuel filter to the overall fuel system that you have. Uh, my motor right here, as you can see down there, I have a mechanical pump. It's an Edelbrock one. Uh, I believe it's uh, 110 gallons per hour. It's Edelbrock Performer one at uh, 6 PSI. And it's uh, good for my motor. Actually, it's uh, good for 600 horsepower, which I'm pretty good for. Well, under that. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> and I have an Aeromotive fuel filter. Now, this fuel filter is good for 2,000 horsepower. And if you read it in JEGS or Summit magazines, you'll see it says 2,000 pounds per hour of fuel it's capable of pushing through it to handle. Uh, you divide that by 6 pounds per gallon, it's around 333 gallons per hour. So my uh, 110 gallon per hour fuel pump has no problem pushing the fuel through this, no restriction there. Don't look at me though, I like to go overkill on, on, on stuff because I'm actually going to get a, fuel, a full aeromotive setup. So this is already set up for me. I don't have to buy a fuel filter next time I, I, I upgrade my fuel system. It's already done. So, uh, remember, always match your fuel filter with the fuel pump rating. Um, you can also go by horse... Some fuel filters are rated by horsepower. Some are rated by PSI if it's fuel injection or carb. Uh, and also gallons per hour, liters per hour if you fuel injected. So please, match your fuel filter with your fuel pump. Thanks, and please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. Bye.